Oh boy. Did he ever? John had freaky inner body chemistry. Oh yeah, in, in Hawknet's cave, he hallucinated big time and chanted weirdly too. I mean, and another inmate uh, named Prochorus, I uh, love John the Jew. Like a well buttered Spartan. <laughs> Picking up a comb in the shower. Follow him around. Like, well, I oh, yeah. Inseparable prison brothers, they were. Mm -hmm. He was busted for improper emperor worship. Well, the two prisoners hung out deep within uh, the cave. Uh, and sometimes uh, John would rave on homebrew. I mean, Corpus worked in the kitchen. You just need a little bit of sugar, throw some fruit in, mandrake roots, <clears throat> morning glory seeds, strain it, beat it, thump it. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the voice of his God would flow through his veins. <sighs> and he would uh, mumble prophetic uh, visions, oh, and which uh, faithful Prochorus uh, wrote down bec on, a, on a whole bunch of papyrus that he uh, got from the uh, prison library. He borrowed it. Kind of. Look, in prison, anything that's not uh, supervised, uh, shh. Out the window. Oh boy. Well, uh, <clears throat> one word reared it, especially weird day, within the grotto. Um, John Wimmer, the most intense transmission from his God, the prayer of his lifetime. Yeah. John reclined on, on a crack uh, in the cave. Hard to do, reclining on cracks. Usually just fall through, but, uh, you know, I guess spiritual power. And Prochorus, uh, he, made a little, he made a little cave desk out of driftwood. So he could write down everything. Oh, his name, brother, said, I made my, my desk from driftwood on the beach, St. Nicholas Bay. Uh -huh. I can relate, huh? Two cave freaks like us. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, everything uh, uh, John uh, said, and Brokers, he swore he heard the trumpets too. Oh yeah, those trumpets, huh? And the resulting uh, uh, huge, pile of papyrus eventually became the last book of the Christian Bible, the book of Revelation. So yeah. and ironically, uh, John invented the uh, genre, mystical apocalyptic horror. Yeah, he became more famous than the prison, huh? Uh, like John, Bob Dylan said, you know, those are who are first, like the prison guards in Rome, will later huh, miss the bus completely, never get to the West Coast at all. I mean, uh, well, uh, the Roman Empire went Christian in the 4th century, after the death of, you know, that uh, Indian yogi. Who they uh, thought was a Jew. Mm. Uh, and uh, although John was uh, dead and thoroughly decomposed, uh, he was in. Emperor worship was out. John was in. <laughs> Almost make my hat fly off in a, in a rainforest. Well, what's that, Earthy? Your space. Uh, 
What about the monastery and the bling bling glitter glitter? You enough about the buttered up Jew? Oh, okay, wait. Uh, uh, yeah, next came the monastery. Well, uh, 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 you know, by a thousand years later, uh, John uh, is like uh, a saint. They made him a saint. They canonized his, uh, his remains somehow. And uh, so John kept harping uh, uh, to Rome, look, St. John, the cave, me, Christotelis, you all guys turn Christian. Uh, 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 you know, with John, huh? Name dropping. Ultimate bargaining chip. And in 1088, in the common era, uh, uh, a Christodoulos scored the whole island of Patmos off the Romans. The whole island! For his private spiritual playground, oh, Christodelus, oh, what a hustler! Ooh. Just by, you know, quizzes. If you've read uh, the hippie history of hashish, that also starts in 1088 A.D. Connect some If you're uh, really bored and yeah. Uh, well, on the highest mountain on uh, Patmos, Christodelus uh, built a, a massive battlemented, uh, uh, ramparted, thick-walled, <laughs> fortified monastery. Why? Ottoman pirates and all kinds of independent pirates or pirates kind of are free. You know, I mean, that's why I've I'm a pilot. I mean, when I lived in the Caribbean, I actually had a tiny garden spade tucked in my belt. I was bearing so much <laughs> illegal contraband on various beaches and then digging them up. <laughs> As you find. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, so the monster owns the entire island. Mm -hmm. And uh, they branched out into shipping. I mean, you kind of got to if you're an you know, island. Why else are you going to get out of there? Uh, and Potmos became a self-governing monastic state. You know, like Malta. For cash? <laughs> That's not a problem. They mint their own currency. And the, uh, the Papa. The Greek Orthodox abbots were ship captains themselves. And they had master jewelers from Athens make them medallions depicting their exact specific ships in gold. Miniature replicas of their yeah, the ships. And, uh, they wore them on these thick gold chains. Hot men sea captains wearing historical bling bling sailed throughout the Aegean and uh, as far away as uh, Odessa uh, on that sea that somehow turned black. Glittering ships? Yo, if it's sunny in the Mediterranean. It's these glittering omelets that attract the glance of Shiva heart. <clears throat> Does anybody remember Shiva heart? He was gliding by the treasury and some glitter caught his eye. Do we need to do an Alzheimer's test here on everybody? Name three words, try to repeat it to me. Two pages from now. I just said that done to me, and I missed one of the three words. You know where I'm headed. Yeah, okay. Uh, the hungry bird <laughs> swoops down by the monastery, but a, a, a damn monk with a 
ponytail is, 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 is scrubbing out an oak barrel. So no mice, no nothing. Just when Sheila Hawk was ready to mouse down for lunch. Disgusting, huh? those humans. Well, uh, okay. Um, he retracts his uh, 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 talons. He was ready to do damage. Yeah, and pumps his wing. Let's get out of here. I want to get high. Uh. Yeah, for a higher perspective of the island, what's going on? Uh, oh, a uh, passenger ship, the Zephyros. Zephyr means wind in Greek. Yeah, the Zephyros docking in the sparkling bay. Huh. Yeah, below. It's one of those Titanic uh, ships. You know, they call it a ferry, but it's like an oil tanker. They got squeezed in the in the in the Gulf of Hormuz, become, become a, between a couple of nations, especially Iran and America. Don't sink it, or go the gas prices. Oops. Uh, yeah, and uh, the Zephyros. It's a look. It's a sparkling harbor. So much is sparkling. Uh, uh, the drops is colossal. Loud clanking anchor into the unsuspecting sleepy harbor waters. Rude. Rude shipping. Got a big boat. Deal with me. What's that got us? How did they ever get to Potmos? Uh, we kind of skipped through that with some of your stream of consciousness, uh, poetry and all that, but, okay, they started in Rhodes, then what happened? Oh, then what happened? Okay, Rhodes. Let's review briefly. <laughs> they ran away together from Lindos to <laughs> Sponge Island. And they sponged up on sex. Uh, then uh, they went to Piscopi. Didn't hear much about that, huh? The horseshoe, horse, the seahorse shaped on uh, Piscopi. Yep, Piscopi. And then you heard a lot about this. You know that white tower in Oh. Yeah, uh, and then Kos, and then, you know, here. About, the point is, I'm trying to make a point. Uh, that uh, 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 these uh, uh, lovers are courageously taking on the most unprecedented fashion pilgrimage in the history of Jews. Yeah. The fuck all along the last time. Yeah. Left over from those Christian crusaders. Nobody's using them anymore. Perfect place to. Shiva and Shakti. Who are they? Oh, wait a minute. The former uh, uh, Earthman and Cleopatra. Before that, forever fusion fox. Yeah, in the abandoned house. <laughs> so. Well, uh, uh, they walk down the gangplank in Patna. I mean, but the Indian show is almost empty. What? Cleopatra? Just you got one pair of, uh, of burgundy panties left? That's it? Those are pretty tattered also. Shiva, what's he got? He's down to like nine only. Bamboo flutes in a sequin arrow quiver, the one with the little, little mirrors, blue velvet. When he needs to ecstatic up, he d and puts his lips together and 
lifts up Cleopatra. Blows. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yanis. Oh, oh, here comes. Oh, they're coming down the gangway. Here comes Yanis. He's a well scrubbed girl, a pot, pot most boy. Yeah. And he shyly inquires. Dermatia. Dermatia? Which means room in the grave. Dermatia. Oh. Well, she even shocked him. Used to be Cleo and Earthman. Get used to it, Shivan Sharpie, the new Sanskrit tantric fuck names. They're attracted to his gentleness. Uh, so uh, the love breaks from Lindos uh, follow Yanis uh, to the pension, the guest house of his parents. It's the whole top floor. Underneath is a well organized, absolutely clean grocery. <coughs> Yanni's guys are not scared. Welcome yeah. to their 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 over there. And spacious bedroom. The joining bathroom features a, a, a hot shower that is huge. Hot water thing. Remember, uh, Earthmen are living in a cave. Washing up in salt water down at Wild Horse Cove. Wow, luxurious first culture. Impress. Yeah. He freshens up with a rare shade. Oh, yeah. Uh, and in the steamy shower, yeah, they slither uh, their soapy, bubbly body together. Welcome to Pilots. Oh yeah, there's the doctor that carpenter back in uh, Georgia. In Spanja. Thomas de Padma. Yes, Padma. Yeah, oh, oh. Cosmic spiritual clue, they picked up on that. 